Hello and welcome back to day two of No Chance for Survival, season two. Here on Gotten Eggs Gaming, we are in the morning here, and we got quite a few things we want to get done today. I'm doing some work on what's going to be our permanent little base stronghold, whatever you want to call it. I added some storage in here, and we need to eat because we're hungry. You will find that in Alpha 19, you are perpetually hungry forever. There seems to be nothing that you could do about it. I think it's a bug or a glitch or whatever you want to call it. However, we will. It remains to be seen if they're gonna if it's something that they're going to address and do something about. You have to go crazy trying to find stuff. So anyway, I to try and find food anyway. Um. So anyway, I did some work here on the base, filled in some holes, started knocking out this wall overnight. <clears throat> I had to stop my extracurricular activities because. Mm -hmm. There was a zombie who came knocking on our door, and I fixed that and dropped a frame in there just in case. Closed this door off, took it out, <clears throat> and then filled it in with some blocks. We'll eventually upgrade all of these uh, blocks as well to be uh, more fortified, for sure. This way we have a nice secure thing here. And then, in discussing, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go get that quest and we'll retrieve those supplies. First and foremost, that'll be our first mission of the day. And then we're going to go back to the trader to turn that in. Make sure I have everything that I need on me. Actually, I don't need all the stuff that I do have on me. So we're going to drop some things off and then come back. So we have plenty of room to grab loot. Um, we're going to get rid of... Oops, nope. Yeah, we're going to get rid of that guy. And we'll bring this one down. We also have a level 2 bone knife now. I don't think I need the torches on me, to be honest. It might be dark, but... I'm okay with that for now. It'll, it'll be fine. I definitely want the bandages, of course, for reasons, you know, me. And we'll keep a little bit of stone on us so we can, you know, uh, repair our axe and stuff. Couldn't grab that. I'm having trouble grabbing stuff here. And we should be good. I ate a little bit. It won't be really enough, but what are you going to do? Let's see if we can... Ooh. We only have one bottle of water. We'll hold on to that for now. And we're going to consider getting some more water, too. Okay, so quest first. I already hear friends coming. Let me close the door here. Yep, there they come. Oh, she got an early shot in on me. And there goes your head. Let me turn down that volume a little bit. That was awfully loud. And they're going to come right in the front door, so that's something else we're going to have to figure out, too. Uh, we're going to have to create a new way into the base for ourselves, I think, because we're going to want to close off this garage as well, I'm pretty sure. Maybe we'll make some sort of ladder system going up to the room that we're in. I think that might be the best uh, thing to do. And we're going to head off to our, our quest. It's about 500 meters that way, so let's go to it. And... Uh, I guess I'll meet you guys there. Actually, no, while we're running a little bit, what we're also going to do is we're going to make our horde base, and we're going to start with some basic design that we build right back here in the backyard, I decided. And it'll be separate from the base, of course, but just enough far back that we can actually expand on it. So day seven, we'll start off with something simple. And then as we go, we'll continue to add to the base to make it stronger and fortify it more and yada yada, all those reasons. Um, for that. And then, yeah, now I'll see you down at the quest. Alright, as we come up on this quest here, I found a nice little, uh, another little town, a little separated from where we were. Not too far off, though. We got a nice little town here, so we have plenty of places that we can loot. Um, to get ourselves going. This is gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Hit a couple of these cars up while we're on our way. Try to find some stuff. There's a decent amount of garbage. Oh, hey. And here's Zambi. How you doing? So, I got this club and I added on the, the chain mod here, which is fantastic. It packs a nice little punch, as you can see right there. Um, does pretty decent damage. Just enough to keep us happy. We're going to loot this place on the way back. And, uh, oop, run right into that stupid cart. Stupid. And, um, yeah, so other things, too, to kind of look out for this game is, like, 
you know, I know they tried to make the game harder so that like, the progression is different. You know, when you're looting stuff, you're not going to find like a level five shotgun um, right away. You'll find mostly stone axes and stuff like that, and blunder blunder buses and everything else, which is kind of what we're hoping to find is a blunder bus to kind of get us started here. And um, yeah, I mean, it's just obviously it's going to be more difficult. Some of the things I don't agree with in, in doing that is we'll get those guests. Uh, things later on <clears throat> um gas pumps later on some of the things i don't agree with though it's like it's it's like the food system and the stamina system like i just think that game's supposed to be hard and you have to build up your skills and the progression is is a lot different but it's not making the game so much harder as it is annoying and frustrating right so it's like i'm running from quest to quest and or running across here and it's like i have to keep slowing down because my stamina is out because i'm trying to sprint and it takes you forever to get here which, I don't know, like, to me, I don't know if that's so so much harder as it is annoying and frustrating. It's just an opinion, really. And I could be just be nitpicking, and then maybe I should stop whining about it. But it's not making the game harder. It's just making it annoying, it, really, to be honest. It's, you know, it, it's harder when I have to swing the club and I lose stamina. That makes sense when I'm trying to fight a zombie. But as I'm trying to get from place to place, from point A to point B, for me to have to like lose stamina and then have to walk, wait my stamina, regenerate and everything else, crazy. And then the amount of times that I have to eat in the course of a day is just not realistic in, in any way at all. So let's get these guys all woken up and get them out. Oh, I think there's more than one in here, right? I think there's one hiding in that little side room over there. I think it's a bathroom. Yeah, shut up. Come on. Get down. Get down and stay down. Pop your head off. There's one in here, right? Oh no, no zombie in here. I'm taking the plant. Grab, definitely grab the uh, the clay early on. So it's going to be one of those. This is one of those games again where it's like I'm just going to grab everything I possibly can because I'm going to sort it all out later on. I'm going to be a hoarder, and everything is going to be useful. We're going to have to consider making an early farm in this game. Get the clay. Get the get the the rotten meat as much as you can, and we're going to make like an early farm to see look at all this like I'm, I'm picking up I'm picking up ammo but I have no gun for it which is fine but again I guess you just keep stockpiling the ammo until it's it's time right uh, I should probably close this so they don't come sneak up on me in the in my in the back um we're gonna have to do an early farm because you're gonna have to do that and so just to get food Finding animal, animal, uh, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> oh my gosh! Need a cup of coffee. Um, finding animals early game was a, is a seems to be a little tough too. I'm playing in a friend server, and it's like we all have the same kind of gripes about how hard it is to find animals and how hard it is to have food and like every little thing you do, especially like when you're sprinting, you're gonna need food sooner because you're sprinting so much, and your stamina sucks and all of that stuff. Uh, we already have our package that we need. We are super encumbered. This is the sniper. If you can't run, if they can't run, they won't get away. <laughs> okay, sniper. We'll take that. There's the smoothie schematic. We're going to hold on to that just for the coin because that'll be good. I don't want the glass right now. If I don't have to hold on to it, I don't want to. Um, definitely need the jars because we're going to need water. And we're going to have to find a water source as well. But look, this is fantastic for ammo. We just need to figure out what we're going to do with it. All right. Oh, wait. Can I wear any of this? No. The other one's much better. We'll just scrap this with a cloth. We'll make sure we grab up the bodies here for the nitrate and stuff like that. I hear more zombies beating on something. Just not sure where they're coming from. Well, there's her. Okay. Oh, there's two of them back there. I only saw the one sitting there sleeping. Sit down. Ooh, bashed her right through the floor. Power attack, baby. And we leveled up. We got two skill points to spend, which is good. There's another one making all that racket. I'm going to loot this while you're uh, getting back up. We're going to give you a fighting chance. Face planted. Oh, my. 
stupid club needs repair. Ooh, he lunged at me, and I took his head off at the last second. Love it. Whoa, there's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Uh, we need to reorganize some of our our uh, inventory here. We are super encumbered now. Make sure we have no other little friends here before we do that. And uh, we may have to make a, a chest to drop down for ourselves so we can uh, kind of... Uh, we could use this here, right here. Yep. Alright, so we got ourselves a piece of uh, level 2 scrap chest armor, which is awesome. We're going to take our pocket mod and throw that in there, and we're going to scrub down our padded chest armor. That's a nice upgrade over what we had. Uh, loving that. All right, as we come into this area over here, we found uh, some friends. Of course, we expected them to be there. There's two of them. One is down. And they're both down. We repaired our club. And then uh, here's our main loot. Nice score right here. Look at this. Pipe bombs, Molotovs, ammo. All sorts of weapons here in the blunderbuss, which we knew we were going to get eventually. And I am waiting for my axe to repair. There we go. Brass takes so long to scrap down that it takes up your queue when you're trying to do a repair or something. And more very interesting stuff here. We're not going to be able to take everything. All right, so I had to make some decisions on what I was going to bring back with me. We are super encumbered right now, uh, over, like, all the way loaded up with stuff. And we had to leave some stuff behind. Um, nothing too drastic being left behind, but still enough that it's worrisome that we have, you know, to get ourselves rolling here as quickly as possible. What we're going to do is we're going to take this steroid. That'll help uh, get rid of the encumberment for about 10 minutes it works, I think, or 9 minutes or whatever it is. And we can get ourselves back to at least our area and get unloaded and get to the trader as well. Um, yeah, and then we can do some looting in our own town. And we're going to start working on that bike ASAP. All right, so we're at the trader. We're turning in our uh, quest here, and we got a tough decision to make. We get twenty pipe bombs, which is phenomenal, or we can get a wrench schematic, which I don't know. I don't remember if I have a wrench or not. I'm drawing a blank right now, which is really crazy. Um, so we can actually make the wrench, but we can also dump the point in to make the wrench as well. I, I feel like I I'm going to go for the the pipe bombs. So we can kind of stock up for the horde night. We'll do that, and then we'll see if she has. Any other jobs we can do? Clear, fetch. They're all so far away. And even this one here is a little bit of a hike. We're going to skip that for now. We're going to sell her whatever I can here. And then we'll get uh, we'll get a move on. All right. We were able to pick up a decent amount of coin for selling all the stuff that we have. Plus the quest. We're going to see if she has anything we can possibly want or need. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff here we can do want or need. Uh, scrap gloves would be nice. But that's a little out of our price range at the moment. I'm going to quickly look through and see if she has anything else that I want. All right, so we're going to start looting here. I mean, why not start right in our own backyard, right? There's the there's the home base, and here's the next house. We'll just go kind of house by house. And I'm just going to go through loot, destroy some zombies, and bring you in if there's something interesting, like Chewbacca here, for instance. This zombie looks like Chewbacca and is now dead after two shots from this awesome club. Which I love. Um, oh, let me, let me go check and make sure I have a wrench. I'm going to bring it right back. So we have to start breaking some stuff down for material. We want to get as much as possible early on so we can get things rolling quickly for ourselves. we got to be smart about this. All right, so we're in. And it doesn't look like there's any zombies here immediately. But let's check over here. There's always a few hanging out in this room. There we go. And here he comes. And there's some loot back there for sure. So... We brought lockpicks with us. We're going to get outside and 
fight him outside. Bring it on, sucker. Alright, so we got some lockpicks. Let's see if we can get into the safe. Alright, we did it. Broke like two lockpicks. Not too bad. And some seriously upgraded weapons. And that woke up a whole bunch of friends. Yep. How you doing? You're dead. Or at least one friend it woke up. Uh, let's get to... Uh, we're going to read it with the schematics. We have corn on the cob. Golden rod tea. Those are awesome. We have a new blunderbuss now. So we will definitely swap that out. Um, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put those... Side by side. Ha! Heard you coming. Thought you could sneak up on me, huh? Chewbacca. Sit down. Shut the door. Dare you try to sneak up on me. Um, so we're going to rock two of them because the other one has ammo in it. Just for now. Since uh, I did put some uh, ammo in the other one. I don't want to don't want to lose out on that. It's valuable right now. All resources are valuable early on, especially when you're playing a new alpha and playing a new version where things have changed, especially progression stuff. That's going to be awesome, the mineral water. Two books there. One book there. Let's read these up and see what they are. So we got the Enforcer, Volume 4. Target arrived by Punk Traders, bartering with a 44 Gun drawn gives you 5% better deal. Love it. We'll do that. Uh, 9mm weapons at 24% range when using scope or iron sights. Take that. And then Sniper 3. Even if you graze them, it's probably going to put them out of battle. Headshots have a chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Love headshots. We'll do that. So I didn't have a wrench back at the, that, the base, but we finally picked up a wrench here. So we have our... First wrench, which is awesome. I'm going to scrap a couple of these. I don't really need them. Alright, in the interest of time, we, uh, running out, we're running out running of time, as it stands. We we're going to... We busted a hole into the garage door. So we can get up here and get this cleared out before nightfall. We're going to cut it close, but I'm okay with that. Loot bag. Ooh, nice. A nice amount of coin. Uh, we're going to have to make ourselves a shovel, too, so we can... Scrap. We can uh, dig up all of this cobblestone, which we're going to need to upgrade the base. There's a zombie right there. Nice little power swing on him. He's dead. And here comes another. Hope you didn't want your head, because now you don't have it anymore. And we have the main loot. Let's go through this. Nice little score here. Very nice score here. And a huge score here. We're talking about that shovel. We just got one right there. Some forged steel and a level 3 stone axe, which we will bring right now. And uh, we're going to grab all of this stuff. Very nice score. You definitely get a lot, a lot of blunderbusses early on. But here's that scrap gloves that we were talking about. We'll wear them right away. And we'll scrap all of this. Um, boots, definitely. We just threw on the cowboy boots, but we're not going to use them anymore. This is going to go right into our chest armor. And it is officially nighttime, folks. We're just going to grab a, some cobblestone here while we quickly can with our new three level three stone shovel i ain't mad about that we were just talking about making it and then it kind of pops up for us you know i guess uh the mother the mother of invention necessity one of those mothers or something i don't know somebody's a mother i've been called a mother myself before <laughs> but anyway that's gonna do it for this one i have a whole lot of organizing to do um for day three, I have a full chest out front here. I completely forgot about this for a second, but we have to get through all of that. We got some meat in there. 
for some food, which we're going to grab that now. We'll grab all of the, as much of the food items as we possibly can. And then uh, I got a bunch of schematics to read. Just keep me busy overnight. Read some, just read some books. And we're going to do some upgrading of the interior of our base. And then we'll bring it back in day three, where we will... I think I'm going to just start laying down the foundation of my board base, was what it comes down to, and figure out what I want it to look like. It'll be something simple. I mean, it's going to be day seven horde, so it's not going to be super crazy, but something to definitely um, start laying out the foundation for in the very least. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out with me. Come back for more Seven Days to Die, and like I said, day three will be um the next one we're going to be working on the horde base i'm going to do some upgrading overnight and i am out of wood i need to go get some wood all right that's my cue folks have a good one leave a like subscribe if you're new see you in the next one bye bye